Hey guys, what's going on? John from Rusty Kings Games Coverage here, showing you guys where to find the hidden chase toasty in the brand new Meltdown Heist in Payday 2. Fancy music. So first thing you want to do is start the heist. And because I'm such a scumbag, I've um, enhanced the speed significantly because it actually doesn't matter. Like this whole part, the warehouse, finding the vault, finding the... Uh, the crowbars to jam the vault, all that, you can just skip that, really. Well, you can't skip it, but you can play through it normally, you don't have to worry about the easter egg at this point at all, so just collect the crowbars, fight the murkies, also super happy to see the murkies back, but anyway, just fight the murkies, do as you do, and once you find the vault, keep jamming it with crowbars till it gets up to that 50c. Oh, well, excuse me. That sounds super healthy. So check all the local crowbar spawns. You know, what if you played the sites a couple times, you can learn where they're at. There's, I think, nine spawns. I could just be pulling that number out of my ass, but I'm pretty sure there's nine spawns that routinely have crowbars. So... I'm just ignoring all the extra loot here, because like I said... Nothing is essential to the Caesar egg aside from just getting to the car. But to open the gate for the car, you have to open the vault, get the warheads. Uh, spoilers. And there's me dying on normal, because I'm the best at what I do. Um, you can do this on any difficult. Oh, hey, that blew up. You can do this on any difficulty, but you want to do it on normal. Or at least I record this on normal, because there are a lot less... Swat van turrets between you and the cheese toast Easter egg thing on normal. I tried doing it on overkill and there were like three turrets, I think, between the beginning of the drive and the egg. Whereas on normal, there's one which you can drive past quickly. So, something to consider if you want to hunt this one yourself. I'm super mature. So here I am just sticking around doing a little hunting and again I only took the one warhead here just for the sake of getting it to the car and getting the car moving to show off the egg but again if you want to finish the heist you have to go back for all of these. Man imagine if four clips actually went that fast that would just be amazing. Forklifts are the strongest weapons in this game, by the way. They're overpowered as hell. Overkill, please nerf. So you hop in the car, drive along normally. And I've set back to normal speed at this point because the drive part is pretty key. So go through most of the... I guess the track or course, you could almost call it. Go through that normally enough. I'm the best driver, 2015. <coughs> well, I apologize. And so when you get to this pile of rubble here, that's where you want to get out of the car. Ordinarily, you would go that way and continue to the train, but here you're just going to do a little parkour over the rubble there. And I get sniped out again here in just a second, because I'm the best at this game. And here it is. Dead. Jacket, saver. Like I said, I'm the best at what I do, aren't I? But anyway, you're going to want to uh, stand up. You're going to hop this little wall barrier here. And there it is. Leave me alone. I will not leave you alone. In fact, I'm showing the world that you exist just to spite you. Again, still super mature. And as you see here, it's indestructible. You can blow it up and what have you. So thank you guys for watching. This is John's, John from Rusty Chains Games Coverage, signing out.